Hi, in this video we'll be setting up Vagrant on our local machine which will allow us to have multiple uh, installations of WordPress and have a local uh, development environment set up on our machines using Vagrant along with VirtualBox. So to get started the first thing we're going to need to install is uh, Vagrant itself and this is the website vagrantup.com if you go along here click on download and select the installation for your platform as you can see it's supported on Mac OS 10 Windows uh, Linux uh, Debian variant and sent OS I'm currently using uh, Ubuntu GNOME for this installation but this will work for any of these platforms that you can see listed here so get that downloaded to get that installed once you've done that go over to virtualbox.org if you don't already have virtualbox installed on your machine you want to come here install virtualbox and download the latest version version 5 for your platform again they have versions for windows os 10 linux and solaris so choose the one that you need and get those installed once you've got that installed you'll also make sure that you have got git installed on your machine um, let me find the URL for git I've already got it installed but if you don't you'll need to make sure you have git installed on OS 10 Windows Linux and again Solaris have that installed once you've done that then we'll move on to actually installing uh, getting the vagrant install setup for those that didn't know vagrant is basically a well, we're going to use it as a development workflow uh, which uses uh, about five pieces of software. So we're going to use VirtualBox, Vagrant, Vagrant plugins, VVV and variable VVV and a VVV dashboard. More on that later in the video uh, I'll explain how that works. Now for those of you that are on uh, Mac OS X or Windows, this is comparable to using something like XAMPP or MAMP or uh, desktop server from ServerPress. Uh, it will replace any of those three. I think this is a more flexible, light, and free open source way of getting the same results on your machine. So let's get started. So once you've installed uh, VirtualBox and Vagrant, now we're going to need to install some Vagrant plugins. So for this, we're going to need to jump into Terminal. So get Terminal loaded up for your chosen machine um, I have got terminal open here just excuse my Mac ish background um, I'm just going to go into my home folder and the first thing I'm going to do is just check to make sure a that I have got git installed so I'm just going to check to make sure I've got the latest version of git installed on my machine and I can see git version 2.5 which I think is okay uh, and also now Vagrant I have the latest version of Vagrant installed and I know I've got VirtualBox installed already so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a command to install our first uh, plugin from Vagrant and this is what we need to install it's called you're running the command Vagrant space plugin space install and the actual plugin we're going to store install is called vagrant dash host updater so you run that and it said it can take a few minutes and that is installed and now the next plugin we need to install is the vagrant plugin install vagrant dash triggers so that's vagrant space plugin space install space vagrant dash triggers we install that okay that's now been installed and now the next thing that we're going to need we're going to pull down from github the varian varian vagrant vagrants say that quickly um, this is the URL for that so what let me explain this URL setup here we've got we're using git to pull down a clone of the actual URL so that's git space clone space https 
colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash capital V for varying dash vagrant dash vagrant forward slash vvv dot git space now this space um, I'm in my home folder currently and I'm going to now send this uh, download to a folder called dev so that's where it's going to do the install so I hit enter here and it's now cloning to that dev folder and that's done so if I do a quick directory command on my home folder you can see now I have a folder called dev here and if I go into dev I now have the variant vagrants vagrant vagrants uh, installation inside that folder okay so the next thing I want to do now while I'm inside this folder I now want to pull down another uh, git repository uh, clone app and this one is git clone https forward slash forward slash github.com brad p forward slash vv git and that's the person that has made this particular uh, application that we need to install so clone that down and that's that done let's just clear our screen uh, one more git clone to do and this is for the actual dashboard itself all inside the same directory we've now done all of our clones and we just now need to move that dashboard into our default www um, directory that's been created via the previous ones and I do believe that should work and it has okay so we've now done all of our uh, installs that we need to do to get everything I'm not going to go through all of the steps of what everything does I'm just going to give you a quick short video just to get you set up and understand how you can use uh, this environment so we've done all of the uh, variable installs there um, we've cloned and, and copied over the dashboard that we're going to use now we're ready to fire up vagrant for the first time um, so hopefully all our paths will work now I'm doing this live I haven't pre recorded anything here or pre set this up I'm just doing it straight off the bat let's see what we get so what it does now it fires up VirtualBox it creates the Ubuntu um, uh, VirtualBox inside virtu um, application inside VirtualBox and this bit may take some time so I may well pause the video at this and we'll come back when it is finished. Okay, so now that script is finished, it will take a long time the first time you run it, so um, just be mindful of that. So all we need to do now is go to our web browser and we can go over to the actual Vagrant dashboard and we will see uh, we should see the dashboard and a couple of installs here we go so we've got the four active installs that it's, it uh, sets up by default and all of these are set up with an username and admin password is admin and password so for example if I go over to here I can log in with admin and password as a password obviously just like any other WordPress install you can change those um, as you wish so now we've got that um, what we are now gonna uh, lo look at is how we create a new site so if we go back to our terminal and from here we should be able to just do vv space create uh, well actually we might need to be into the vv obviously you can change your path uh, to accept that or is it that way for Linux is, oh, okay so what we need to do is we go into the VV directory um, I've not set my path up yet so I can add this to my path so I wouldn't need to go into the directory and hopefully that should work now 
Okay, so we have a problem here. Let's see what's going on. VV file, because it is VV create. This might be slightly different on um, on a Mac. So I've done dot four slash VV create to actually run the VV script as it is technically a script. Um, so that runs and now you can see it's asking me where do we want to install um, the new website so what I'm going to do as I've got my home folder set up with that dev folder I'm going to set it there so I'm going to do this and dev and it's now created the config now it's asking me um, for the site, what is the name of the site? Let's just call it um, VV Test. And the main to use will be vvtest.dev as default, or you can type in whatever you want for that. Um, then it asks you WordPress version to install. If you leave it uh, blank, it will do the latest version of uh, WordPress. Obviously, if you're looking to test with previous versions or you want to get the nightly version, you can type in the name of it there. Uh, Multi-site is capable of doing, so you can choose yes or no for multi-site. Default is no, if you hit en um, enter. And you can also, if you have a repository on Git with your D the w WordPress content folder, you can actually clone that from there. So it's a good way of being able to uh, have all of your content set up from a previous install and clone that over and have all of your plugins and themes and everything else set up and ready to go. So I'm just going to hit enter on this occasion and also the same sort of setup for a local SQL file to import for a database if you needed to do that. I'll leave blank here. Uh, you can also opt to remove any default themes and plugins so we're going to say no to that um, and you can have sample content added to the site as well which is really useful for if you just want to test out a theme. Um, so I'm going to hit no for that as well and no for any debug or debugging logs to be enabled. So now it's going to create the database, install WordPress and make the site visible uh, with the domain name vvtest.dev. Continue, yes. And now it goes away and runs and does that install. What's my local password? and it goes through and reboots the VM sets up the host name Okay, now that that's done, you can see it's created um, our folder VV tests and it's installed WordPress there and it's told us username and password is admin and password. So if we go back to our browser now and if we reload our dashboard, we should actually see um, that in the dashboard as another WordPress install as you can see we've got it here BV test so if I go over to that I can log in with admin password and that is WordPress with Varian Vagrant Vagrants uh, with VirtualBox that's how you get it installed one other thing to have a look at things you need to be aware of are the Vagrant commands to actually control the environment um, if you do vagrant help. Here are the commands you need to be aware of. Uh, the main ones obviously vagrant space up is to start and provision the environment. You've also got halt here which is to shut, shut it down um, and you can do resume, reload, you can take snapshots, 
um, you can SSH into the actual environment itself so you can add you know that's a way of basically FTP and if you like into the environment and, and uploading uh, certain files or changing configuration files uh, you can also do initialization to create a new vagrant file if uh, something is being corrupt you can do that and obviously you can destroy to delete the entire environment itself out of your virtual box uh, system so that's how you do it uh, any questions leave some in the comments below this video um, it's really really flexible environment I'm now kind of pre preferring it to using desktop server when I'm on my Mac because I've got this set up on my Mac as well I'm on my Linux um, desktop uh, PC at the moment doing this and it means I can drop and change between the environments um, using the the same uh, setup and it's more ta I can tailor this so I can have I can have PHP 7 run on here I can set this up with um, any sort of software I need to test uh, or mimic a live hosting environment on this system anyway that's it for me and till next video I'll speak to you again soon